distributed the MTOs to the procurement team and they started looking for the vendors. Let's say 10 days lag or like five days lag, whatever. Yeah, uh, so she, yeah, you had 10 days on, on the duration. Yeah, so five days. And then I have to hit this calculation button again up here. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. Just remember that man cloak is very important part in life. <laughs> so what happened here now, Dan? You can see that the activities become parallel. Yeah, it moved it back. Yeah, so it's a halfway into engineering yeah. procurement starts. So we yeah. can say that when the engineers started basic engineering and they have some basic list of items, they delivered yeah. that to the procurement team and they start looking for the vendor. Yeah. So this way you can play with the logics. Whatever mm -hmm. logic based on your requirement, you can change any time. You can put your lag or leave. Yeah. So now this is a very small project, Leaf. Just for making you understand the concept because you are yeah. more experienced than me. <laughs> so I don't want to teach you anything else. <laughs> no, as I said, the content of it is okay. I, I know the content of it and I have, I have run these projects. The last one I ran in, in uh, North Africa was $3 billion. So uh, you can say it was somewhat more activities. I think we had 15,000 activities in the network. Man, I'm working on one of the projects in the like South East part it's uh -huh. 1.4 billion dollar and it has 37 thousand activities i have tried to say to people that uh, it is really not a network it is a chain work because you yes. really have you are doing it system by system or area by area the interfaces between the various areas or between the various systems is not something i've i've been in now more or less as an advisor mm -hmm. to one of these offshore modification projects and that is much more complicated because then you have um, interfaces in all directions then you really get the network but it is uh, i was also in singapore we i have a ship laying not far from here where i'm living because i'm living on an island there in Norway where we have the Norway's largest shipyard or, or, or offshore yard and I was in Singapore working with that ship for three years and we, they are saying there 15 20,000 activities but they were not fully interlinked they were just running area by area so everyone was so fancy about this 20,000 activities but it it really wasn't interlinked. I don't think any human being can control 20,000 activities. It, uh, the thing is that leave is totally based on like client requirement. If like, if you really ask me if you're like building a 20,000 activity, it's very difficult. So you can say that like we build the L3 or L4 schedule here and we break it for the detailed basis on the separate Excel file or we can create small, small projects that will be easy to handle. So, but sometimes uh, the client requirement, we cannot say anything. No, no, no. And we are damn good writing that everyone shall be interlinked and shall you should be able to turn it to system completion by 70% and all of these things. It doesn't really work so in the real life. But in like Primavera, the good thing is like, uh, like if you want to go for the advanced sharing, you can create small projects and you can link it with your main projects. This is a small project. Now, if we want to like move out of this project, it means we want to close this project. So we need to go on the file. Close all, yeah. Well, is it automatically yeah. saving now for us or? Yes, professional is a automatic saving. Okay. So when you are typing, so you should be careful sometime, like our cursor is somewhere else and we want to type it somewhere else. So be careful. <laughs> okay, close all. Huh? Are you sure what yes. the close project it says? Yes. So now you can see that your project is closed. Yesterday you asked me the milestone things. So in Primavera, there is also. But uh, uh, I move it on the next step. The reason is that first I show you the interface, like how it behaves, that it's easy to correlate the milestone mm -hmm. with everything, activity types. Now let's add new projects, small projects, same, and we will learn mm -hmm. the different activity types. The same go on the training. We are doing the training. Mm -hmm. Training, man. Again, select the training again. Add. We want to add a new project. So EPS is the same. We can click on next. A project ID, let's say we make it TRN2000. And project name, let's say we give it activity types. What did you say now? You, you wanted the name to be? Activity types, our topic name. Okay. So click on next. So by default plan start date is good for us. Like we do not have much <laughs> data there. Next, 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 yeah. and hit the finish. Yeah. Project is added. Yeah. Now same way, open the project map, open project. So now you see, you don't need to change your like layout because it is already freezed. Now we go on the WPS page on the top project activities page, man. If you see project at the top file, add it, 
view project move up yeah. move your cursor up not here move oh. your cursor up next oh, to oh. the enterprise more up oh, project that. yeah for oh. like wbs yeah 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 now let's add the wbs and we give it the name milestones we just add hold on huh yes sir same process it's like you are learning and training both parallelly and add the new wbs name give it the again same engineering procurement and construction three wbs oh and you will call it engineering here first wrong place man you are typing that's the, uh, the id it will automatically second but, w, new, new wbs yes no its thing is that like uh, when you move your uh, like wbs up and down so data is not refreshed here so you okay. are forcibly like asking data like your database like you are pushing your application to get your table refresh from backend and when you hit that, it will like give you the proper alignment what you had set in that WBS page. So, uh, so here, here it's different, uh, really different behavior compared to this Safran we are using. So much more. This is automated. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So this is to watch, watch out for. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next, we will add the activity in the milestones. Okay. Let's add an activity, and we give it the name Project Start. So if you go down at the bottom general can you see that yeah and there is an activity type first thing activity activity type yeah yeah okay so it shows right now it is showing you task dependent that's your by default activity type. Yeah. so now the thing is what is task dependent so leave you know project calendars yeah so if we talk about task dependent means that let's say one calendar no way calendar is associated with this project so if you talk about task dependent means so this activity will be governed by that no big calendar okay. if it is task dependent so that says that like task dependent is the activities type which is governed by the project calendar clear okay. Yeah. Now, if you want to make it milestone, start milestone. Can you see that? Start milestone, the drop down menu. Yeah. Select well, that. It, so then it will change to zero days. Yeah. That was what I was yes. intending to do. Up there. Same like everywhere. Yeah. Only start date is relevant. Okay. So you do so it do it by default then when you select that. Okay. Yeah. 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 And on the like Gantt chart also you see diamond like see data rate line. What is this order? Okay, here is duration. So here is uh, so it just oh yeah that leave it right now. It's yeah. like uh, how want to how we want to play. You know that like duration we want to update or physical oh, okay. whatever based on it how you want to update your schedule. Now let's add another activity. Let's say we give it like we group it the milestones here and we give it then like next activity as a project closer in the milestone yes, okay sir, okay in the mi also should i just stand here then and take an ad yeah add activity yeah. and we yeah. give it the name project close or close yeah. project finish project finish uh, yeah and same way make it finish milestone from the bottom okay so there okay that was new for me so they are you have both the finish and uh, uh start milestone that was strange why do you have that why don't you only have milestone huh and so milestone the uh, basic concept of milestone like late we are more expensive but it's just as a flag raising agree so yeah. how can how can you make it like uh, an activity will start and finish date as a milestone because that has a duration it will not work as a flag logically in that way the thing is that like if we talk about milestone we cannot assign any resource on that but if you no. make it task dependent it will like show as a bar it will not like on the gantt chart it will not show as a like dot or like diamond like say so if you if you read it from the gantt chart it makes your life easy now let's yeah. add the same activity structure and we will link engineering and we give it the name engineering and yeah. duration 10 days and the procurement same naming nature construction let's say 30 days i'm assuming some random duration to make it some realistic thing yeah now let's start linking to make it build now i can tell you one shortcut to link all the activity in a single go but that will be by finish to start select the engineering first press the shift from your keyboard and use the down arrow key till the construction is reached now you start getting complicated young man huh? i'm telling you one shortcut to link the activities press the shift from your keyboard shift and can you use the down arrow key from your keyboard or you can use the control press the control and select the procurement yeah and then then construction then construction yeah right click and can you see a shortcut there link activities yeah. so it will when you hit the schedule you will see what's the logic by default finish start logic it will save your time 